Well, hello everybody. This is Frogman, and welcome back to Engineer's Life 2. We went to the Nether last episode, and we did a few things. We got a couple of parts and pieces, and we picked up a little bit of stuff. Had a small adventure, and it was kind of interesting, I guess I can say. I was a little spooked at times, but that's perfectly fine. There's a couple of things I want to kind of knock out right now, because I haven't really done much in between episodes, other than we can go look at it really, really quickly. Do I have a bucket on me? Did I make sure I brought a bucket before I ran away? I need a bucket. Let's go do one little thing that I think we can do right now, really really quickly which is i want to first off show you guys that i uh did a little did a little bit of a thing here we do now have access or reasonably remote access back to this portal thing whatever this i don't I, I really don't know exactly how this is going to work but i did notice that we can make something so let's go check a thing or two real quick so we can get into here i do not want him to fall in. Thank you. Goodbye. I would like a single bucket of this stuff because we can apparently pick that up. That's going to give us the answer to that. So let's jump in here real quick and let it teleport us back. All right, cool. I did clear out a little bit of an area where we drop in at, and I did put down one of those beacons so we can get in and out of this place. Uh, there was a whole lot of blackstone and a whole lot of stuff right here, so I went ahead and just kind of mined it up. Again, I was kind of glad we ran into a basalt delta because I really wanted a basalt delta because I want a lot of that stuff. So let's go back through this portal, which is kind of silly. I guess that's how it works. but. For whatever reason, it drops us right back in the middle of that little lake thing, so that's cool. All right, with that being said, it's a little dangerous. I think all we've got is a creeper, maybe? Hopefully. All right, what I want to do is I want to see about picking up a piece of iron ore or something. I think I need a piece of iron ore. Are you just going to stay up there, buddy? Maybe? Can I can I, can I, I get this place without getting murdered? Please? I just want that piece of iron ore right there. And then I will leave you alone. Do this. Thank you. And let's go over here where it's kind of possibly safe. I am probably half assuming what's going to happen here pretty soon is if I do this the way I think it's going to do it, it's going to be silly. So let's see what we can do. All right. There is a thing that we can do because we're traveling and other things. I want to kind of check it out and see what it is, however it works, whatever these little dimensions that they're going to give us to play with actually are. So, uh... We need to be able to, let's look at our, well, listen, let's look at our little quest book here really quickly. We got the dimensional plasma bucket, which is going to give us one of these. Now, supposedly I can take this anywhere I want to take it and then plonk down another one of these. For right now, this is going to work for our nether dimensional access thing. We're just going to leave that set right there for right now. Well, what we supposedly can do with this is we can craft a mining dimension teleporter. This teleporter will transport you to the mining dimension world of caves where you can mine resources out of the overworld. Mining teleporter is crafted with eight ores around a bucket of dimensional plasma. No more than one of each ore may be used when crafting. It, this is a crafting recipe, maybe. Is this a crafting recipe or is this a this, 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 this? This, this, this recipe. No, it is not. I need to go find another piece of ore then. Okay, that's cool. That's what I was wondering. Um, That's a problem because of the fact we need to go find some silk touch. I think. Uh, what do we have left for ores? Ores, what can we get that's going to be pick upable without losing it? Uranium. I think all we were short was one, right? Yeah, there should be a uranium ore down here somewhere. I know I saw it. I've actually left them sit here a little bit. I haven't done a whole lot of mining. I'm going to go look for a piece of uranium ore, which there should be a cavern right there. I think that's uranium right there. Can I go get it without getting screwed up by all this water? Or have a creeper drop on my head? 
Can we go over here real quick, please? Thank you. I just want one of those. All right, let's get back up top. Because I would like to make this, because if that means I don't have to sit here and continuously dig under my base all the time, that would be great. So, cool. Run. And climb the very, very, very long ladder. Creepers everywhere. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, get back in the house before you get eaten. By like the thousand spiders and the zombies and the stuff that's hanging out. Where did he go? They, they've been, they're, they're good about going to the, oh, is it, uh, is it cold time already? Are we looking at being winter? Really? Already? Oh, great. We have one in a outfit over here. Let's go just hit him with a bow there. That'll be a good idea. Set him on fire. Let him burn a little. And then whack. All right, I think we've got most of the area cleaned up aside from a couple of spiders. They're not a big deal. I'm not worried about them right now. Let's go ahead and make this thing and see what this will do for us. So it says any kind of ores. I have at least eight, I believe, at this point, correct? Yes, I do. And a bucket of stuff. That's cobblestone. A mining dimension teleporter requires unique ores crafter, but it's a da, 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 da. no more than one may be used. Quest completed. Does this mean if I put this down somewhere, it's going to let me just teleport wherever I want to go? Do we have to do another thing again? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> uh, not funny. Not funny game fill in the holes okay cool that's so basically this is just the overworld again right so if i just kind of dig i dig like normal right nothing's changed nothing's here is this any better i don't know why would why would we why would it matter Where is my torches? I don't know. Where are my torches? What did you do with them? Hello. Oh, and so there's mobs here too. So what's the point? Is the origin any different? Doesn't look any different to me. It looks about the same as what the overworld was earlier. Huh. Okay, well, let's get out of here before we get eaten. I will explore this on my own times. And sure, yeah, that's something else we can do. All right, well, that was interesting. That was something I wanted to at least look at since we keep continuously messing around with other little things. So let's go ahead and look at our quest book. That'll get us another iron pickaxe. And that line is done. Uh, warp fungus on a stick. I'm not really concerned about playing with most of that stuff as far as things go. We are playing a technical mod pack at this point, so we want to kind of mess around. The reason why I wanted to go down that direction was so we could kind of look at this and hopefully maybe run into the possibility of a nether fortress, which we did not get to look at. So let's start looking at the actual nuts and bolts, meats and potatoes of this pack, which is going to be... Uh, this little line of quests here, which is going to be a lot of fun. There's a bunch of neat stuff in here that I'm really looking forward to playing around with, but I guess the first thing we probably need to start doing is the main chains through some of this area because our machines are over here that we're going to need, which means we're going to have to go again back to the nether and get a few other things. I'm pretty sure Blast Brick is totally, completely 100% craftable at this point without going back. Beautiful, because I think I picked a whole bunch of that stuff up, right? I should have, I thought I picked up a bunch of, somewhere in here. 
I'm hiding things from myself. I know I picked up a bunch of that magma block, but whatever. We can get some more stuff. That's cool. All right, let's play with that chapter a little bit. And that's going to require me to take one of these things and a bunch of wood and hope I can craft it the way that they... Hopefully they made it easy. So dark oak planks. Can we get some more dark oak planks? Thank you. I need to definitely make a bunch more trees, but will this work? Amazing. Beautiful. Cool. I love it when they give you that integration. It's a wonderful way of being able to deal with not having to craft with a whole bunch of buckets. Because that means I can put you back in there. You can take the leftovers out and we can make some more stuff. Now we're going to play a lot with this stuff and we're going to play a lot with the, the Blackstone. We're going to use a lot of stuff. I don't believe we actually have chisel this time around. No, we don't have chisel blocks, or at least we don't have anything that looks like chisel blocks. So we're going to be using a lot of the regular vanilla kind of style blocks to make a factory. And I'm going to be looking forward to kind of just doing that. So I said this, this stuff right here, I believe all I got to do is something like that. And it makes polished blackstone. And that and that are going to look really cool with some of, that's the oak block, that's oak planks. Oak planks, no, 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 no. Where is the oak logs? That's going to look really good with stuff like this or stuff like this. Kind of like that. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with that. Plus with, uh, you know, some of the random other colors might try to introduce some of the acacia and things like that. But yeah, definitely looking forward to playing around with some of this stuff. I think I can even go further with that. Yeah. And this. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's so good. We've needed good black bricks and shapes and colors and textures in this game for years so awesome i am so happy about that let's put some of that away and i will put this in here and that should have opened up some more stuff for us what have we got now so we're going to look at a just kind of scroll down here treated wood planks let's get an iron thing get some more treated wood we're going to get some of this and some more coins very 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 cool let's see let's put some more of our i wish i need a wallet i need a wallet for all these coins Holy moly, we got so much stuff. Put some more junk away. We don't need all this. For sure, do not need all of this. Uh, treated wood planks. The next thing I think I want to build, for sure, we're going to have to do this too up here very quickly. The other thing, or soonish, soonish. I want one of these because I think these are those are kind of stuff. Special craft table, small internal inventory. It holds items in crafting space instead of putting them back in your inventory. Yes, please. That's what I want. Where is it? That thing right there. That's just a crafting table, some sticks, and some other stuff. Uh, I should actually be able to do that, right? Let me do A on you. Then we can do this. It's treated sticks. Does it have to be treated sticks? It has to be treated sticks. Okay. Let's grab some treated wood slabs. Are these the regular ones? Give me some sticks. I'm not a huge fan of this. I really am not a huge fan of that part. I mean, it is what it is. I get it. It's part of the way this pack is designed. Certain things are just a little... We're, we're going to have a lot of fun later on down the line by making a bunch of stuff because of the fact that it's going to get a really ornery really quickly with some of the major problems. But this guy has... Yes awesome it's basically like a work table from forestry you can put your stuff in here and it will remember what you can do things you can change and it holds the inventory which is beautiful it's been something i've been wanting to have for a minute so let's do that get rid of those that can come out of there as well awesome let's check that off the book yes give me some more of those the metal table, slightly more feature-rich decorative functional table. Full, full features can be seen by holding shift and control while hovering over the item. How do we make? You just want, but why did you make me do that when I could have done that? Do that. Cool. What does this one do? Let's put it over here since we're running out of space. Why did I make that one? I think.
Control shift. I forget. This one's a control shift. 18 storage plots keeps inventory, Nova Vanilla recipe, up and down arrow forks for crafting history, selection output slot for item. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Good. So we're finally getting some a little bit better crafting. That's cool. So that means it even remembers. I wonder how many it can remember. I mean, I really don't want to waste iron on things like that, but okay. Anyhow, we've got a couple of those done. Cool. Let's see. Give me a, what is this, a tool shelf? Rod, treated wood, window, sill. Eh, just go up there, whatever. Don't need it. Click. Industrial lighting. Uh, iron bulb. Oh, yeah. These are, these are good stuff, too. These make reasonably decent lights eh, as far as things go. We will mess with those later on down the line. I need to go ahead and probably the, the the thing I'm really wondering is is if the wooden storage crates are the same as they've always been in every other mod pack because I am starving desperately for inventory space. Awesome. Thank you. Finally, we need to make a few of those. Now I can finally do some of the stuff. Let's get some more inventory stuff going then. Beautiful. I have been wanting those so much. I mean, it's just, you run out of, just, you guys saw me running around just trying to pick things up. You have a limited amount of things in your inventory as it is, and you just kind of tend to run completely out of stuff. So it's amazing. Let's take a nap and do a little bit more of the questing. What else can we do while we're here? So wooden barrel, I know. Reinforced storage crate is going to be... I will probably hold off on that for right now. They're not 100% necessary. Can I get out of here, please? Let's go to this one. A labeled crates. Double-sized storage block. It has a slot in its GUI to display on the front of the crate. Does that mean it moves? Metal bar. Metal bar, metal bar, metal bar. We did have some metal bars, right? Yeah, we did. Let's see what that looks like. We're learning. We're having fun. We don't know what any of this stuff is. We've never played this. Where did those go? I'm blind. And I do really miss a crafting table that has... Is that how that works? Okay. Claim. I'll take your coin. Old industrial wood planks. That kind of, is it treated wood? It is treated wood. That's an interesting recipe. What does this look like? We're doing all the ooh shinies right now. We need to do the ooh shinies right now. What am I doing wrong? Old industrial wood planks. Treated wood stairs, connected treated wood, treated wood planks, treated wood planks. They're all treated wood planks with a charcoal. Does it have to be charcoal? Did I grab the wrong thing? Okay, I guess I grabbed the wrong thing. Give me that. We should have some charcoal. Charcoal's a kind of a pain in the rear to make. So four of those there to there to there and put one of these down. I want to see what it looks like. Just a slightly darker brown. Okay, that's cool. And I want these right there. I just want to see what this looks like. Cool. Because we we're kind of running out of storage space. Wow. And then like I put that right there and it shows what's on the front of it. Hey, that's cool. And if I put things in it, do they drop? I don't think so. No. Well, that's even better. Awesome. Cool. Well, we're learning. Love it. Huh. Cool. Well, um, at, at, I'm just going to put you over here for right now, and you can contain that. We'll, we'll play around with those as we go. Let's see. What can we do as far as this is concerned? Take that and that. Lovely. I've been farming the heck out of this stuff already. I don't need any more. <laughs> Oh, we're getting our emeralds. We're getting our things. That's actually a bad place for that because I will forget where that's at. Let's put it up there above this guy for right now. We can mess around with him in a little bit. So that's kind of cool. 
Of course, we have our fluid barrels. We'll we'll fool around with this the wooden barrel that's ground up iron things and stuff tools. Let's see, engineer's workbench. We're gonna need to look towards that. So, engineer's workbench is going to why did what is a circuit table? There's some other stuff in this. They've added uh, circuitry and things to it now, which is amazing. So, I okay so that's where this is going to come in at is this iron yes it's that kind of stuff and we need to do this to their iron treated wood slabs treated wood fence can i make that and then we need some more slabs a piece of iron actually i think you should have everything you need to do that beautiful excellent yes it is time to tinker let's put you right out here we're going to need a bigger workshop pretty soon and that's not where i wanted you I want you like that. There we go. Cool. Oh, click. That's going to get us all of the access to some of this other wonderful stuff. Did it give us at least some iron back that we can use? That will be engineering blocks. You can go ahead and give me the rewards for this. I need to craft both of those. Conveyor belts, getting into the fun stuff, finally getting to moving things around. Electrical furnaces. Yes, please. Wonderful. Awesome. Can I do this? Yeah, give me the give me the jerky. That's cool. Yeah, I think it's uh I screwed up again, didn't I? Can we Oh, I love it. Hang on a minute. I think I'm losing something. Uh just give me one of those really fast. I think we're losing things. that down and that down the grapes were kind of fun you had to kind of wait on them to do a few things you had to let them grow up into a bush and then you put fences on the sides of the the top of the bush and then they grow sideways and then they grow grapes down they're not going to do anything right now because they're out of season i was just kind of fooling around with it to see what it would do so i'm gonna have to fix all this as we go but no big deal all right, we're getting a few more things kind of built, kind of screwed around with. I'm just like I said, just kind of messing around. It's one of those, what do you do? You're starting a new kind of an idea. It's the same old mod. It's just that they've added a few things like there's a sawmill now. We have a circuit making bench will allow us to build some really kind of neat, fun stuff and things. This is the, th this is the deal that is going to unlock the next level of technology down here in industry and beyond. And this is insanity. This, some of these, some of these recipes are ridiculous. So we can for sure kind of work through this. What else can we do while we're here? That scares me. Does it really require that? Ouch. Okay. Well, I, I kind of wondered that was going to be one of those things we were going to have to play with. How deep this is going to be before it gets absolutely silly. The simple storage solutions. What does it take to make this? The dissolution chamber. What does it take to make that? The pity machine. Fr yeah, this, this is going to be kind of like the spot where we are in Levitated right now, where a lot of the general, more advanced machines have advanced crafting recipes and again that is not something that bothers me i actually prefer to have a harder recipe to try to have to craft in order to be able to get a few things because it makes you think about how you need to possibly automate and or deal with it at a later date so what else can we do we've got a little bit of time i just wanted to kind of knock out some of these quests and be able to get to a point where we can actually build some stuff where were we becoming an engineer uh did we do this we haven't i don't think we have have we did i make that already no we got plenty of books do i still have plenty of sticks there's my torches let me get a lever and the a manual for this wonderful I'm excited because I want to play with engineer's decor, 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 decoration, that, this, this mod right here. Very interested in playing with this mod, uh, which we should be able to do. Should have a couple of those already. Put you away. Inventory is slowly becoming full of stuff and things. Beautiful. Awesome. What is that going to be? More cookies and milk. Beautiful. We'll take that. And you can go in there. That's a wood to iron chest upgrade, which we don't have any chests left anymore. 
Uh, put those away. Put some of this other random junk away. I'm going to have to really start working on inventory stuff because this is going to be really, really, really filling up very quickly, isn't it? Put that away. Cool. What do we got? Engineer's tools. You want me to make a wire cutter and a screwdriver. Iron rod, iron rod is that. Get us some more iron. Uh, doot, doot. No, it's the other way. It's this way. The iron rod. One, two, and a screwdriver. Is that maybe? What was a screwdriver? Just a stick. What am I doing? What are you doing? Quit. Stick. Screwdriver. And I think this is going to be this and that. Yeah, there's those. All right. Nice. More iron and more things. I actually kind of really want that toolbox. Toolbox is aluminum plates, a wooden storage crate, and some red dye. Where did I put that flower? Uh, do we even have any aluminum cooked at this point? I don't think I have any aluminum cooked. Let's see. Let's gather up some of this. I didn't have a whole lot of aluminum, which was kind of the problem. Did I have any bauxite at all? I got four. Well, go ahead, cook those up. We need to go find some red dye. I wonder if a tomato would work. Oh, there they are. That's plenty of stuff. We just need some of these. I think it's one, right? Toolbox 2. No, I, I want this thing because it's going to become in handy later on. And actually, I use these quite a bit. So that should be to there. And then I think it's that. That'll work that direction. Are you done? All of those are done. This should make a... Need to get the hammer out. Where did it go? There it is. How do I make? I need to go find some more aluminum. Beautiful. Well, I guess I know what I'm going to do in a second. All right, then. That didn't take long at all. We just, just had to go to the little demining dimension -y thingy and do a little bit of what happened to my thing. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't do that. That's great. That's not what I want to see. Give me this. That must be a glitch. That's okay. No big deal. Let's make the other aluminum plate that we need. And I would really, 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 really like to craft this today. So I need to dump this one wooden storage box that I have, right? There's something in here? No? Okay, cool. And go. Yes. All right, cool. Thank you. Now that thing is definitely something we can utilize going forward because it's just like another backpack except we have a whole bunch of slots for other things. And it will hold wiring and it will hold anything and it will hold tools. So tools and things and stuff from say this mod can go in where they need to go. Where is the screwdriver that I just crafted? Screwdrivers there. Where is the wire cutters? I thought we made the wire cutters, right? Didn't we make the wire cutters? Am I blind? Maybe. I thought I made the wire cutters. Maybe I threw them away. Maybe they're in here. There they are. Okay. But yeah, now we can kind of definitely d d differentiate where we want things. So much as will that go in there? It will. Will this too? Cool. So I can keep certain things around like that as well too. However, we're probably not going to mess with that. When we get into the wiring, the wiring is where that becomes a really, really big deal because of the fact that I can carry various toolboxes and keep the various types of wiring handy so all of these connectors and all of the wires and all of the things can be placed in their own so we will probably have a couple of these maybe i always liked how you look with this too because you actually carry it so it's kind of neat um anyhow let's put that away and let's kind of take a look at some of this other stuff i think what i need to do is kind of clean my inventory up once again is that granite i don't need granite Granite can go back in the trash can where it was. I can put you away. Aluminum is going to be one of those scarce kind of resources that we're not really going to find a lot of, seems like. I keep looking and looking, and I'm not really finding it. It is a little bit of a higher spawn in the general area than some of the other stuff is, or at least some of the normal things. So let's see. What do we get for that? We get a couple of pieces of iron. 
Where are we? We were right here, so it wants us to make a skyhook, a jerry can, redstone, alloy kiln. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to make at this point. Can we make an alloy kiln? I think actually we can. Let's make an alloy kiln really quickly because that will allow us to make some of the alloys we're going to need later on. I think it's eight of them, correct? Yes, excellent, good. We'll put this over by this guy for right now. I will put him on this side. Eh. And where is the thing that we just had? So hammer, tool, go, put it away. Good, nice. Now alloy kilns, we should be able to, mm, oh, excuse me, should be able to make all the little random alloys that we need, like Electrum and Constantan and things and stuff like that. So yeah, the first thing it's going to hand us, of course, is the heh, copper and the nickel that we need in order to be able to make elect uh, what is it, Constantan. So let's do this, and we'll let it run for a little while. That is probably trying to point us towards something else, which is going to be basic, easy power early on. I, I don't know. We'll see how that works. A lot of this is just going to be, we're going to be knocking these out as we go through. So we've got light engineering blocks. We'll unlock this. Redstone engineering blocks. We'll unlock that. Power is going to be kinetic dynamos, which is copper coil blocks, which is going to probably be really expensive. I think my goal right now is I need to be working towards a metal press. And I still believe, if I remember correctly, let's look at the books that we have. A metal press is going to require a heavy engineering block, right? That should be a metal press. It's going to require a heavy engineering block and a bunch of steel. Which, again, is steel, sheet metal. That's this, this recipe has been changed. There's no more pistons in this. And I'm glad you at least get four for it. That's pretty cool. Uh, these are going to be fairly standard, normal aluminum things and whatnot. Good. We am glad I went and got that piece of aluminum. So that means what we're going to do. Yeah, I thought that was what it was going to want us to probably do. That's going to be a thing we'll have to play with eventually. Steel. Steel is going to be, I don't know why my caps lock key is on. Steel is going to be a major part of this. Steel is just going to be a major part of this whole entire system. And mainly way we're going to be making it is with the blast furnace. So, of course, the way you always make things or way you make steel with this is going to be with the regular crude blast furnace and a crude blast furnace. I'm going to kind of jump ahead here real quick because I think we can possibly do this. Uh, blast brick is going to be lots of brick, lots of nether brick, and a lot of that stuff. So we need to go ahead and recook. Where did it go? Where did I put it? That into nether brick. I think that'll work correctly, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, then we need to go to the nether very quickly. I'm going to go gather some of the stuff we're going to need. The nether, we should be able to pick up the various stuff we need. They should be able to do it right outside of this portal area. So I'm going to go get that all real quick. And I want to try to get a blast furnace set up. And, ooh, I almost died. <laughs> Missed it. That's okay. Whatever. No big deal. Part of these skilling up things is quite fun. So let me jump down in here and we'll go get us a bunch of the stuff that we need. And I will be back with you guys. Okay, I think we should be good to go now. I did kind of was thinking I was cheating and jumping ahead, but apparently no. We were doing this reward section right here, which we can actually do because we unlocked it. So I went to the uh went to the went back to the nether and dug up a bunch of magma blocks and I've cooked down a bunch of nether bricks. And that should allow us to craft the 27 blast bricks that we need in order to be able to make a crude blast furnace so if we can get on to that part i will be very happy with what we've done today because that will allow me to start cooking up steel and get ready for the next episode because in the next episode we're gonna uh, nuts i pushed the wrong button there we go cool uh hopefully that didn't break anything are we still good yes all right nice blast bricks go to work one two three four five six seven eight nine done exactly perfect wonderful awesome great that's exactly what i wanted put that away that can go in there for now and let's go outside and it's snowing it's it's snowing it's lovely i love it all right let's put this down 
Those look a lot darker than normal. Maybe I'm just crazy. Whatever. Let's get this rolling because we're going to need to start cooking up steel. And I want to try to save on as much iron as I possibly can. So that means the next major bit of technology that we're going to be going towards or looking for or aiming after is going to be our... Uh, basically, we're going to be going right straight for that, that press. We're going exactly right straight for the... <laughs> the press. So this is done. Steel ingots, steel plates, steel fun stuffs, cool things. Now we're going to be going straight for that heavy engineering block so that we can make that metal press. I'm going to have to come up with a reasonably simple way to make a little teeny tiny amount of power to be able to run it. But the continuous needing to craft two things into one thing, I should say, continuously needing to cook and use two ingots for each plate is going to get really really expensive even though we do have quite a bit of materials so i am going to grab a full stack of that stuff and full stack of iron and we're going to run a full stack of iron through this and that should allow us to at least get enough steel to do what we need to do problem is this takes forever this thing is slow anybody that's played with it you know that now i can go ahead and Maybe just run a full stack of iron through this and make enough plates to be able to make this thing run. Or we can maybe possibly save a little bit if we can manage to cook just enough stuff to be able to make the heavy engineering block. The one heavy engineering block. This thing. All I need to be able to do in order to be able to start saving on iron and steel at this point is make one of these. So it's going to be, well, we will have the ability to use this system in here. We'll be able to do this. So that's like, what is it? Eight plus eight. Eight pieces of steel will allow us to be able to kind of, well, plus plus the steel that it's going to take to be able to make the uh, the little bitty, um, the, the scaffolding. And I don't know, what was the redstone? I haven't even looked at the redstone engineering block. I'm hoping they really... And a bunch more iron there too, but okay. I, I'm I'm going to push towards that direction. We're going to get to that spot and we're going to do a few things. What does a piston cost me? I didn't even look at that. Nothing. Same old stuff, like always. All right, awesome. So I guess for now, guys, I, I'm going to have quite a bit of fun cutting up these two episodes because of the fact that I'm probably going to be looking at going on vacation next week. So, or the week you guys will probably be getting this. So I need to go ahead and get these done and recorded and over with and uh, figured out and uploaded. So I thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to have a lot of fun with this pack. I can already tell it's coming. So see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stupid snow. It's the middle of the summer here where I'm at. I don't want snow.